The Texas Attorney General says he's disappointed a federal judge dismissed the state's lawsuit over the new immigration enforcement law. Ken Paxton filed suit against Travis County and other defendants the day after Governor Abbott signed Senate Bill 4 into law. It was his attempt to preemptively have a court declare it constitutional. SB 4 bans sanctuary cities, the common term for local governments that don't enforce federal immigration laws. It also allows local law enforcement to question the immigration status of people they detain or arrest. It will take effect September 1st unless a judge in a separate case out of San Antonio intervenes. Abortion insurance, a bill that advanced in the legislature this week, would require women pay an additional insurance premium if they want their health plan to cover abortions not considered medical emergencies. House Bill 214 does not include exceptions for instances of fetal abnormalities, rape, or incest. The bill's author, State Representative John Smithy, says opponents of abortion, like himself, should not have to subsidize the procedure. This week, the Texas House passed a bill to crack down on mail-in ballot fraud. The measure contained an amendment that would undo another law meant to prevent this type of fraud at nursing homes. That law, which passed during the regular session, would have overhauled balloting at nursing homes in an attempt to eliminate manipulation of the residents' votes. But one lawmaker said he was inundated by calls and emails saying the law wasn't practical and would exhaust resources. The bill still needs to get through the Senate. I'm Alana Rocha in these final days of the special session. Stay up to date at texastribune.org.